Hey everyone, it's Ali, and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am back with another book outlet haul. Literally, I think I placed an order with them about half an hour <laughs> after opening my first haul. And if you guys did miss that, definitely make sure to check it out. But a lot of you came here after finding that video, so thank you so much if you are new. I'm really, really excited about the future of this channel, which of course will be all things books. So if you guys have any ideas for me on maybe challenges you'd like me to do in the future, stuff like that, I'm definitely open to ideas on this channel, but I want to be very cozy, very relaxing. Okay, so I had never heard of Book Outlet before I placed my first order. And if you have never heard of Book Outlet either, I'm about to blow your mind because this site has a lot, a lot, a lot of new books. And they might just have like a little marker dot or something like that on them, but otherwise they are brand new in perfect condition. So this site gets a lot of overflow from places like Target. So there's a lot of bestsellers on there, a lot of books that are very recent and you can sort by genre, you can sort by price, all kinds of different things. So I would highly, highly recommend checking out Book Outlet. And I do have a code down below that you can use. And then when you sign up, you can have your own referral link to give to your friends. So it's a wonderful place. My first order ended up being, I think right around $55 and this order ended up being 58. And both times I got 10 books. So fantastic price for brand new books. And I love how they package it. It says warning, may contain awesome books. A Little bit of whimsy, <laughs> not mad at that. And it's a pull tab, so let's see if I can do it the first time. Oh, <laughs> no. There we go. So this is not a mystery. I picked out all these books myself, but if you have any places or you think I should order mystery books from, that would be fun too. But this is such a good deal. And I was struggling to contain myself at 10, but I figured 10 at a time is probably a pretty good amount. Okay, this one is a little disheveled. <laughs> the last one came really, really neat. These ones just got a little tossed around because it looked like there was some extra room in here. But for the most part, everything looks good. And I said it in the last video, but I am very much a cover buyer. I do have my favorite genres of historical fiction, and I do like some fantasy books and a, just a dang good novel I would say but most of the time I do like books to be set in a slightly different world than ours either in the past or a little fantasy. I don't love books that are just kind of like going about day-to-day -day life in 2022. But some of these I don't even know what the genre is. I just really like the cover. <laughs> like this one couldn't really tell you what it's about. Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune. So this is the author's debut and it says it's magical so love that. About food heritage and finding family in the most unexpected places and I don't don't really like to read the back blurbs. I really like to just go in and find out what the story's about. I've found some really good books that way. So that's all the limited knowledge I will take into it, but you'll definitely hear about this in a future review. And let me know you guys if you've read any of the books that I'm showing you or if you have any recommendations for me to get on Book Outlet in the future. Now we've got the number one New York Times bestseller by Joyce Carol Oates. We Were the Mulvaney's. This is one that's been kind of in my mind for a long time and I saw it on there, so I was like, what the heck? It says the Mulvaney's get under our skin and demand that we pay attention. Yeah, so this is probably one of the oldest books. This was written in 1996, but I'm trying to read more of some of these modern day classics and just classics in general. There are so many good classics on my list and Book Outlet does have quite a lot on their site. Yeah, like this is a newer one that I've been seeing all over Book Talk, Bookstagram, everything. A Flicker in the Dark. And this is a hardback, but I still got this for a great price. Yeah, originally retailed for 28, and I think I got this for like six. This was just written last year in 2021, but I'm actually starting a challenge tomorrow, the day after I'm filming this, where I am going to attempt to read seven thrillers in seven days. And so I definitely wanted to make sure I opened this box and filmed it before I start that. And this is absolutely gonna be one I will be reading over this next week. So that will be the next video if you're curious. This one I just thought looked so pretty. I love the cover. This is by Susanna Clark and it's called Piranesi. Let's go with that. But this seems just like really mystical, very fantastical. So I think I'm gonna like this one very much. And it is a pretty quick read. For some reason I was thinking this was a longer one 
but I feel like I'll be able to knock this out pretty quick. Gotta start reading some shorter ones because as of today, September 1st, I have read 45 out of 100 books because I kind of slacked at the beginning of this year, but I'm very, very determined to read 100 books. So we gotta get going. <laughs> oh man though, I just finished one of my favorite books of the year, which I got in my last book outlet haul, The Women of Chateau Lafayette. And that one was like 550 pages, I think, maybe even a little bit more. I absolutely love that book, but it took me about five days to read it. But that was five stars for me. I really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> this one still has the Target sticker on there. This is A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. Just looks super cute. And I love that this is historical romance because I've been reading some of the popular romance books and romance authors that have been all over book talk and everything over the last couple of years or so. And I do not mind them, I will say. I think they're well written, but I'm not a big fan of just like romance set now. If it's gonna be a romance book, it has to have a little bit something else to it for me. But this is set in England, 1865, so I think I will like this one. This one will be interesting. There's another little Target sticker on there. This is Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined by Stephanie Meyer. And Twilight came out when I was in probably like late middle school throughout high school is when those books were coming out. And that was just a really fun time because Harry Potters were still coming out. They still did like midnight releases and that's what I would do with my high school friends was go to the midnight releases of Twilight and Harry Potter. And it was just a good time to be alive, you know? But this came out in 2015 with the 10th anniversary of Twilight, which, woo, I'm old. But I didn't get this in 2015. I remember when it was written and I was like, eh, whatever. But now it's like been just long enough, I feel like that I'm just kind of interested. So this says, you know Bella and Edward now get to know Bo and Edith. And I guess it's kind of like role reversal. So this should be interesting. I don't know if it's like gonna be a basically copy of the story, but just different genders, gender swaps. I don't know, but I will read this. It's a little thicker than I thought it would be. People really give Twilight a lot of crap, but the books were good. It was just the movies were not so good. So if you only saw the movies, you didn't understand why people liked the books, but the books were solid. All right, and then I got these two. I think these are sold out now. Some of the really popular ones, if you don't buy them when you see them, they will be sold out, which I have unfortunately learned the hard way. But we've got A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and then Good Girl, Bad Blood. So I will also be reading both of these over the next week. I think they're more like young adults, so they're probably not gonna be super dark. That will be a good mix between some of the darker thrillers I'm reading. It says, this is the story of an investigation turned obsession centered around pretty and popular high school senior, Andy Bell. And that's all I'll say about that, but I've heard really good things about this. And I definitely wanted to get the sequel because I knew if I loved it, I would want to read the sequel right away. Okay, just a couple more talking about classics again. This is A Wrinkle in Time, which I never read this one. I feel like a lot of people had this required at some point in school, but I never did. And I think a lot of people from what I remember did not really like the movie that came out a couple years ago or whatever, but I'll read this and then I like to read books and then watch the movies. So maybe we'll do a little book versus movie review at some point in the future. There are very few movies that were based on books that I can think of that I thought were as good as the book, and I'm not sure that I can think of any that were better than the book. This is super random, but I think one of the best movie adaptations of a book was Holes. I thought that movie was basically perfect. It was almost like you were reading the book, watching the movie. The script was very, very similar to the book. But anyway, let me know, what movies do you think were as good as the book? Also really, really loved Atonement. That's one of my favorite books. And I thought that movie was really well done. One of the worst adaptations I will say was Ella Enchanted, which <laughs> if you saw that movie on its own, you probably would have liked it, but they really changed that story a lot. And that is one of my favorite books as well. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> the last book is Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey, perhaps. And this was one I really love the cover and I've been seeing a lot, a lot on book talk about this one. And it's set in the Scottish Highlands, so that's very fun. But this one just came out last year, so a very recent book. They definitely have a fair amount of recent ones and you can actually even sort on Book Outlet 
by when they were released. So if you are looking for newer ones, you can filter it out in that way. But all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go shop on Book Outlet yourself. And if you are new, definitely make sure to use that code down below. Again, let me know what books you think I should be looking out for and if you have any ideas for future videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like and a subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.